Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 17th of 2023. Well, it is titled the Medusa Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the Medusa Nebula and is, is actually a very old planetary nebula that is about 1500 light years away from us. And that means that we see it not as it is today, but as it was 1500 years ago. That's how long it took light to travel from the nebula to us here on Earth. Of course, the nebula doesn't change a whole lot in just 1500 years, so it probably looks pretty much the same as we see it here in this image now. However, to see exactly what it looks like, we would need to wait 1500 years for the light that is just leaving it today to actually reach us here on Earth. Now this is an example of a planetary nebula, which is what happens at the end of the life of a star much like our own sun. When the sun reaches the end of its life, it expands, becomes much larger, and it is unable to hold on to those outer layers. How big will those outer layers be? Well, the outer layers will engulf the entire inner solar system. So the sun will be bigger than the entire inner solar system, engulfing Mercury, Venus, and Earth, and even out to Mars at some point. And eventually, when it becomes that large, it is unstable and unable to hold on to those outer layers and any instabilities or pulsations will push that material out into space and the outer layers expand out becoming the planetary nebula that we see and the inner core collapses down to a white dwarf an object that contains most of the mass of the star but is only about the size of earth so it is highly compressed essentially pushing atoms as close together as they can possibly go where before the uh, electrons within them repel each other and don't allow them to be pushed any closer. We reach what is called the exclusion principle, the Pauli exclusion principle that keeps them from getting any closer together. And that leaves the compact remnant as a white dwarf. Now that is what our sun will eventually become, but we've got about five or six billion years before that happens. The sun has to finish up, use, finish using up all of the hydrogen fuel that it has, and then we'll be able to burn helium into carbon and oxygen before finally enlarging large enough and then pushing off those outer layers and becoming a planetary nebula itself. So many billions of years, a distant astronomer will be able to look at toward our planetary system and see the sun as a planetary nebula, perhaps something like what we see in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for March 17th of 2023. It was titled the Medusa Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Supernova's Prelude. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.